All right, it's boss time against the Honey R. First things first, Speed Charm. And then we want to use a Warrior's Blood and a Hunter's Blood. Yeah, he's very hard to combo because of how fast he is. There you go, got him. This also starts the all bosses video for dot hack mutation. I already did one for dot hack infection, so if you want to see the all bosses for that, I'll put a link down below in the description probably. But on to the next boss. And it's boss time. I should have buffed before the battle, but... Oh well. Forgot to. Nope, but I didn't mean to use that on him, or on her. Okay, it's magic tolerant. So Hook's gonna be useless here. But I can already die during it, so it's all good. I don't know what it's called, but we're about to find out what it's called. Moo Guardian. Okay. There you go. Fairly easy boss battle. Let me get Aromatic Grass. We're defeating that boss. Can you keep up with Janu, Gob? Defeat the Golden Goblin running in the field. It's boss time. Against John Yu R. Use a speed charm here. A warrior blood and a hunter blood. I probably should use swirling dark instead. Got him. There you go, that was uh, pretty easy. Uh, uh, city folk don't chew their noodles. They just slurp them up. Not good. Go we get Goblin Mail A. did it's my turn 
And it's boss time against Scorpion, looks like. Good dad of dream. Oh, it's Scorp Scorpiod. Or Scorpiod. There we go. Very easy boss. Took it down very fast. And it's boss time against Innes. Yeah, and there's a similar attack to Scave from the first game. And you fight it in a similar field that you fought Scave in as well. Visions of Self or Seif. See, if Visions of Seif or Self, I didn't really see it too well. Yeah, definitely make sure to buff yourself before you fight this thing. Because it could be pretty tough. Absolute zero. That's an ice attack. And eventually we'll be able to data drain it. Should be just about able to data drain it. And apparently that move can uh, confuse you, I think. That's what it looked like, anyway. Use a major soul on a uh, nuke there. Okay, absolute zero, that's fine. Okay, that's not so fine. I did a lot of damage that time.
He likes to spam attacks. Oh, dead during time. Segment one. Alright, so now we can take it out. Shouldn't be that hard now. And there we go, got it. So that was Innis. That was a pretty difficult boss battle, just like Scave uh, from the first game. So definitely don't take it lightly. Did you feel that? That was weird. Hey, you should also make sure that your um, HP is fully healed as well. Gotta skip the cutscenes to avoid copyright. And it's boss time against. Could be a. We got Achilles Gomora. If you played uh, GU, dot hack GU, Cubia is in dark, dot hack GU as well. Mister over here nuking everything. Oh, it's physical tolerance, so we have to use magic on it. Looks like it's going to use a special attack here. And that does a ton of damage. Okay, now it's magic tolerance. Gotta keep your characters alive because of the buffs. You don't want your um, buffs to go down, so. Arc bullet. Because once your characters fall in battle, their buffs go away. Uh, so you want to keep them healed up. And I would say you want to keep max HP as well in this fight, as well. If you have the Dark History on Mistral, you should be doing a ton of damage in this fight. And she has AoE too, so that's nice. It's going to keep doing these ultimate attacks. Here's probably its most powerful one here, Megiddo Flame. Which is a Final Fantasy, it's in Final Fantasy games too. Oh, oh, and, uh, actually that was a lot. It just basically switches between um, being immune to physical and being immune to magical. Let's see, let's use a major soul on um, Heroes there because it's out of MP. Right, but we're getting the core down there. Another ultimate attack. Again, as long as you keep your buffs up, you should be able to survive. If your buffs go down, you might die in one hit from that. And then obviously you have to heal after every uh, ultimate attack. Hey, look at that damage by Mistral. Holy crap. She's 
doing ludicrous amounts of damage. Alright, so one more round of this and we should have this thing defeated. Not gonna be able to kill us unless it critical hits. Let's see here, let's use Staccato. Okay, that does low damage. I'm almost got it. Yeah, one more round, it's dead. After Megiddo Flame. Do I even need to heal? Probably not. We can finish it off. There we go, got it. Oh, that was the Cubia boss. And I gotta skip the cutscene again to avoid copyright as uh, usual. Uh, because the cutscenes are copyrighted. Kubia. I'm impressed. Yeah, fairly easy ball, so just swaps between being immune, being immune to physical and magical. Uh, so you got to make sure to use make sure to hit skills on your character so they'll use our skills. Because if it's physical tolerant, and you don't use skills, you never you'll never be able to kill it. So you have to have mystical attack. Well, for magic. Uh, this will be battle number eight. Our goblin, goblin battle number eight. I think you're doing well, Gob. Ah, at least up to this point. And it's boss time against Zion R. First things first. Speed charm. And then Warrior and Hunter's Blood. Oh, no target in range. I don't really get one attacking on him before he. He's pretty clever. I think I'll get him here. Yep. Got him. To defeat me, of all goblins. Although I am depressed, I am thoroughly impressed. God. And we get the Goblin Gloves A. Alright, the Night Frown the Night Frown of Goblin Tag against Albert R. As soon as it loads up. I've had enough sleep. I shall not lose, Gob. And it's boss time against Albert R. And he's fast. As you can tell, he's super fast. Mm -hmm. 
I'm only going to be able to hit him once of our skill, my skills. Yeah, he books it. Even with speed charm, you can't keep up with him. I'm definitely not going to hit him with magic because my magic is bad. So I just have to keep hitting him with Thunder Dance. I wish I had like Blazing Wheel or something though. He's right there. Come on. No target. Come on. Literally right in my face. No target. I don't know if that's speed to use it anyway. I have to... Come on, you coward. When we're hitting, he's dead. How can I not hit him? He's right there. Come on. That's unbelievably stupid. There we go, got him finally. Jeez. So annoying. Uh, the R isn't there for nothing, you know. Hey, you know Martina R? Yeah, we're gonna beat her too. And it's boss time. Against I have no clue. Can't really... Grogon? Maybe? Not really sure. I guess we'll figure it out as soon as we, um... Gotta drain it. Make sure to stay above 500 hit points because it hits pretty hard. Yeah, that's like that. That attacked us a lot. You want to kind of separate from Black Rose as well. Forgot to have her cast spells. Okay, virus core. Oh, virus core. Oh, oh, the Ligon. The Ligon's its name.
I can see something you need like uh, fire resistance. There we go, got it. And after you defeat it, you get the spark sword. So a fairly easy boss, so this does a ton of damage. You gotta watch out for that flame attack. If you have fire resistance, uh, that would help a lot. But other than that, pretty easy. And it's boss time. Against... I'll say it's show its name here in a second. Gotta buff our characters up some here. Magical attack. Uh, physical defense. And magical accuracy. False time against Magus. Uh, do you want to heal me? Yeah, it can paralyze you, which is annoying. Has these Magus leaves, too. Death and Rebirth. One of his ultimate attacks. I keep beating it down until we can data drain it. Make sure to keep yourself healed up. Almost died there. I'm gonna try to keep as close to full HP as you can. Because that definitely burp does a ton of damage. Light and purity. Another ultimate attack here. Almost one shot at Mistral there. And it falls it up with that attack. Pretty nasty.
Okay, dead during time. I right, score you. And now we can finish it off. Got 4k hit points. Shouldn't take that long to get it down. Hard part the hard part is getting it the data drain. Oh crap, I did a ton of damage though. I gotta heal Mistral. Probably would have died there if I didn't heal. Yeah, that attack does a ton of damage. But I have plenty of resurrects. So it shouldn't be that big of an issue. Mistral's been take, doing a ton of damage to this thing. There we go. Got it. Nice. So that was the Magus boss. Gotta skip the cutscenes to avoid copyright. Maybe this was a turning point. Yeah. It had some very dangerous attacks. So you got to be a little careful against Magus. Especially that tree attack on, on its second form. It killed Black Rose. So. Got to be careful. Testable Vengeful Gate. The final Golden Goblin. In Die Hack Mutation. Put her to sleep. And then we want to use Beast Bane on her. Alright, her magic tolerance is gone. I don't know how much these scrolls will do to her. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, you want to stay close to her? That way, when she wakes up, she doesn't run away from you and get too far away from your scroll or whatever You're good. I ask again. How about becoming a goblin? Goblins are nice. Yeah, against her you gotta use cheap tactics because if you try to go physical on her it, it'll be a hassle to try to chase her down or whatever. Uh, so you want to use magic against her. Use the, cr the scrolls the moon which you can buy at the shops and um, you can buy beast spain and makanu of the scroll shop uh, the moon you could buy in the carmina gade lika or whatever at the scroll shop and then once you do that just buy any scroll it doesn't matter i bought what, what did i use like the fireball storm or something like that just do that over and over again until she dies. Pretty easy. 
Uh, but don't tell a fighter straight up, it, it'll take too long. Alright, all buffed up and ready to go for the final... The Super Boss. Uh, Dahak Mutation. There's something in the back. I don't want to get too far ahead of my characters. I have a speed charm equipped, so I'm a little bit faster than them. What the? It's acting like the boss of this ghost town. And it's boss time against Anglemore. More. I guess I'm a tank in this battle instead of uh, Pyros. Ooh, that hurt. I almost got it. Make sure to dad drain it. Uh, don't forget to dad drain it. Because you get the Crimson Raid if you dad drain it. Alright. That's a rare uh, twin blade. Don't forget to do that. That's the only way to get the Crimson Raid. And there you go. This is the thing that destroyed the city? And for beating the boss, you get the Lucky Shoes as well. So yeah, that wasn't as hard as the Parasite Dragon was in the first game. That was a pretty easy super boss. Uh, compared to Parasite Dragon. But you gotta be aware of that combo attack at the beginning. You saw that you saw that combo attack at the beginning that you did to me? I barely survived that. But other than that, pretty easy boss. All things considered. <laughs> 